All right, so uh, let's make the Christmas video. And uh, this is in celebration. I think I've hiked the first 100 miles of the Florida Trail or hiked, cut, worked on, and sweat over the first 100 miles of the Florida Trail. Um, so I just kind of wanted to talk about it. Uh, you know, we've got 1,500 miles, and so 100 miles knocked out. Not bad. And uh, so got the, just wanted you to kind of see my office and my setup here. Uh, it's, 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 well, I think it's impressive. My wife calls it the uh, trash room, but let's just swing around and, and get, get what, what I'm seeing. So here you go. This is my news, you know. I'm watching YouTube all the time. Of course, I'm posting on YouTube. And, uh, and this is the map. Uh, this is the best map I could find of the Florida Trail. And then I took some notes over here. Uh, this is, well, I got, you know, I got three computers and, uh, and of course, the, the million dollar laptop here. So let's just kind of, kind of get going. Um, so the first thing is, is if you look at the map, all right, just to show you where we are. Okay, this is it right here. Okay, I made it to this point in the Silver Springs State Park. And unfortunately, from this point going up this way, uh, the trail is not maintained, not at all. And I'm having to cut my way through, uh, just like Lewis and Clark, you know. Um, there's just, uh, it's just slow going. Um, I don't know why that portion of the trail is not maintained. Um, and, and you can see, I guess it just kind of comes way the hell over here. <laughs> and there's this Florida trail. I don't know. I don't know what to say. But this is a CR 314. Um, that's a Northeast 7th Street. Goes by the Sharps Ferry, Greenways and Trails uh, Park Office. Um, by the way, right in there is a parking area. And if you're backpacking the trail, uh, in a previous video I showed you that it would be a great place to hole up and, and camp. You just can't, what's ridiculous is you can't camp in the main area. You're going to have to hike up into the forest a ways and just kind of hide your tent. Uh, and that's, the, that's what I'm finding everywhere along the Florida Trail. There are no designated camping areas. You just have to hide and, uh, and camp. Okay, so then we kind of moved into the Marshall Swamp Track. Uh, I've done a number of videos on that. Um, it's not well maintained. I mean, it's well maintained in the fact that it's cut well, but uh, they need to get back in there with some gravel and fill in the areas because uh, you're going to be going through some mud and, and, and water and swampy areas, and the, and the bridges are actually falling down. Uh, I think it's just a matter of time until it's going to be unhikable uh, unless, you know, they get some maintenance back in there. But uh, so you kind of work your way through the Marshall Swamp and then you reach what's called Baseline Park, which is uh, just um, east of Florida 35, which is right here. And actually Baseline Park, nice place to hike. It's got three loops. OK, about five miles to get through the park, which if we zoom in, you can kind of see. So here's all the loops and the Florida Trail coming through. Uh, very, very well maintained, very easy hike. Uh, and then you, you, what, what happens is what's crazy is you get to here. Now, this is a nice bathroom area. So if you've hiked from the uh, um, uh, CR 314 to here, okay, that's, that's almost, I mean, that's, that's quite a distance uh, if you're backpacking. And, uh, but there are bathrooms right here and there's potable water. You can refill your, your canteens or whatever. Now what happens is the trail moves right along Florida 35. You go under a bridge here and then you're going to work your way back across uh, Florida 464, which goes back this way. And so then the trail comes back up into here. I hope you're kind of seeing that. Okay, so we've, we've hiked, and by the way, this is one of the most beautiful portions of the trail I've ever done. Uh, it just, just meanders along uh, quite, it's called the Ma Majorie Harris Car Cross Florida Greenway, is what they're calling it. 
and uh, that'll take you all the way over uh, to uh, this street here. Um, I, I don't have it listed on my notes. Uh, I think it's nine, whatever. And, uh, and then you're going to cross that street, and then you go back into the forest, and then you come up onto uh, Southeast 80th Street, which becomes Southeast 41 First Court. And that's going to take you uh, right into, boom, 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 the Santos. And what they call this is the Santos Track. All right, so here's your, here's your parking area for the Santos Track, all right, and which we've done. Okay, so you, there, you can see there's all kinds, look at that, man, there's all kinds. Let's zoom in just a little bit. All kinds of bike trails and stuff all through here. You got the uh, the Vortex Extreme mountain bike section, uh, which I took a video of. Um, and then you just kind of work your way through there. Uh, and then you just keep on the Santos track. Um, you're going to cross the uh, southeast 107th place or CR 4. 75b and then you hit southeast 110th street then you're gonna hit southeast 95th street or cr 467 then you hit south magnolia avenue okay uh and then uh what we're gonna do next is we've got the 49th what they call the 49th avenue track that's the next section that i'm gonna hit and then you move your your way into the shangri-la uh, tract and then what's really going to be beautiful and you guys are going to love it is this Ross Prairie track right here Okay, and the Florida Trail actually there's a there's a, there's a trail that wanders around in here And then there's another trail that goes this way up north So that's kind of where we are. So we've got the first hundred miles of the Florida Trail now What's what's so difficult is this section right here? Okay because once the Florida Trail hits right there on CR 314, there's just no maintenance. And you can you can see they don't even show the trail. It actually comes down this road and then goes this way up into the forest. And that's where I'm cutting through. And uh, if you watch my videos, you'll see that I'm working my way going this way. So let's just back all the way back out. Okay. So this is this is the way we're heading. We're trying to get back up this way, uh, and then we'll work our way into the Panhandle. Um, and you got to see, you see, you're going into the Ocala National Forest. Whoops. Let's just zoom in just a little bit. So this is going to get kind of crazy back in here. Uh, there's the Ocala National Forest right there, Florida Trail, Florida Trail. You know, it just kind of wanders around, and uh, we'll just keep working on it. But I tell you, as, as, as I get deeper and deeper into it, it uh, gets a little bit more hairy. I think going this direction is not going to be a big deal. It's just going to be mainly hiking, and that's it. That's the Christmas video for you. And uh, so, uh, you backpackers, uh, the, the place you're going to want to camp is uh, at the uh, Marshall Swamp um, uh, uh, parking area. Uh, you just hole up in the forest there. Like I said, I don't think the guy's going to mess with you. And uh, let's just turn it around. And uh, so where's the next place that, that I would camp? Uh, I guess Santos at the Santos Trailhead. There's a nice campground there. Um, and that's a big that's a big hike. I mean, you're going to have to get from uh, all the way through Marshall Swamp, through Baseline Park, all the way through. I mean... Well, really, you could just camp uh, in the area uh, after you get under 464. I would say anywhere along there. That you're going to go by the um, oh, what's it called? Um, there's a there's a baseball park there. You're going to go by that, and once you get dive back into the woods, you're going to pass a dump, and uh, you know pretty much anywhere in there, you could throw up a tent. Nobody's going to care. Uh, and then and then when you get to the Santos Trailhead, that's where I would throw up the next tent. And I'm trying to think of where you might camp again. And um, once again, I, I think you just, and then there's no water. There's no water uh, once you get past uh, um, the Santos Trailhead. Um, you know, you're, you're, you're pretty much going to have to hike 
as far as you can and then just throw up a tent in the woods so I you know so we'll keep working on it um, and uh, giving you backpackers you know where you need to go luckily I'm cutting the trail in for you um, so it's 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 only going north that's been a problem uh, going uh, west I'm, I'm having no difficulty I'm just hiking it and the trails are well maintained and there's no danger at all there's you know so anyway that's it that's the Christmas video that's the Florida hike and uh, Merry Christmas everybody um, love you all and uh, let's pray for our country uh, I do think that we had a lot of shenanigans go on in this election um, and we need to all be very concerned about what's taking place uh, this is this is this is just uh, not good not good anyway Good night.